Okay, hello, I'm Michael McCarthy, and we're picking up where we left off in the previous baking video that kind of showed the basics of setting all this up in Scanline, and we're just going to move over to Mental Ray uh, in order to set it up there, and there's a couple of changes that we might want to make. So we're going to go and turn our meshroom strands back on. We're going to hop into our material editor and we're going to choose a different material. You can see that uh, we were using our Ornatrix hair shader before and that's not something that's going to be supported from Mental Ray. So I have just a basic uh, blend shader here with our texture that we're going to use on our hair. So with the hair selected, we'll apply that. Of course you could use any Mental Ray material with this hair as well. We're just using a simple shader that has the diffuse color in it. Of course the next thing we'll need to do is switch over to Mental Ray. So in the render dialog we'll choose NVIDIA Mental Ray and that's going to set us up as far as the renderer goes. Now we'll certainly have to make sure as we did before that we uncheck the uh, OX hair ray trace fast under our environment and effects because that's not something we're going to use. Mental Ray will use the actual hair and in Mental Ray we can set up things inside of the renderer. So let's just pop in here we may want to go and adjust things like our final gather. So under global illumination, you can adjust whether you want final gather or not. Under renderer, you can adjust what sort of uh, sampling qu quality you want and what type of sampler you'll be using. And I'm just going to leave all of these at the defaults right now. Uh, the defaults should be fine for what we're doing, but you can make any changes to the mental ray renderer that you want. I'm going to hop back into our render to texture. In order to do that, I'm going to select the bat body bake again. We still have our projection modifier on here with the bat hair picked and probably a good idea just to double check our cage to make sure it's still the way that we want it to be and it is. Now we'll go back into render to texture by pressing 0. So all of our settings that we set up before are all set here. We have the bat body bake there, no sub objects, uh, just our projections. And when we go down, we have our complete map, our normal map, and I think I'll just add one more. So I'll go in with Mental Ray, of course, we could add the ambient occlusion. We'll put that in the ambient color, and we may use that for uh, anything later on. I'll just set that to 1024 by 1024 because that'll be pretty useful for us. You can set the element samples, so I may bump this up a little bit to 32. And of course you could adjust things like the spread of the fall off for ambient occlusion as well. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually go into the lights because our lights we were using before we had our shadows and we we're using the OX Deep shadow map. Now we could certainly change the lights to any sort of mental ray uh, area lights or anything of that nature. But in this case I'm just going to choose mental ray shadow map because mental ray does not support the deep shadow maps. Um, and if we just choose mental ray shadow map that'll work out fine for us. So in the mental ray shadow map I'll go in and I'll set this to uh, be a little bit higher resolution because we do have a lot of details with that hair. I'll set the samples to be up quite a bit too, so I'll bump those up to 32 because we want those smooth samples. And now we should be set to render. So let's go over to Bat Body Bake, press 0, and we'll scroll to the bottom and choose Render. Now Mental Ray is going to give us a little bit more info as far as translating the hair object. And then of course it's going to go through and compute final gather. And of course then it's going to render through and give us a nice sampled hair all the way through. We don't have to worry about that super sampler step because of course Mental Ray is using its adaptive sampling uh, as well as the samples for the shadows that are coming in here. But we don't see any hair of course we see through that working model which works pretty well. We have some nice fine detail here. Now you can see Mental Ray has finished rendering and we have you know a nice detailed pass of our hair rendering here. So that's been rendered out to our texture. We can go back down into our material. So you can see that in this material we're just going to pick our character and its material again. I'll hide the bat hair. And in our material you can see that we have our ambient occlusion baked in as well. So this is something that we could put in to you know, another map in order to use maybe the composite map or something else like that uh, for our character to augment the look of the hair. Uh, of course we have our uh, regular 
complete map and when we go back in we also have our normal bump which has been output here so pretty nice detail on that as well so as we did before if we go in uh, we can adjust our bump maybe down to about 40 and we'll do a quick render I'll go in here I might just disable final gather for the moment we'll just render that out and you can see that goes through and we get uh, that nice detailed hair texture on our character now if we want to uh, we can bring that texture into a game engine for our character or we can use it underneath our hair rendering uh, to go back to uh, rendering with mental ray we you know take our hair to go back and render with mental ray we take our hair we'd use the MR hair primitive uh, in order to render out uh, mental ray with ornatrix and we'd have this texture underneath that could be used so hopefully that helps you to improve your production pipeline when baking textures down with ornatrix using mental ray and it will get your artwork and uh, hair productions to where they need to be